It's the first game of 2023, and it may be a new year, but it's an old hero that Swindon Town fans will be celebrating, as it was finally officially confirmed that Charlie Austin rejoins Swindon Town on a deal to the end of the season. He's not available for today's game, unfortunately, but in the absence of our new talisman, let's hope we don't lose to the U's. Okay, we're here inside the Job Serve Stadium, formerly the Western Home Community Stadium, as they've done their best to erase from the outside of the ground in an aggressive manner. So, Joe what were you thinking going into this one? Colchester hovering above the relegation zone, Swindon obviously off the back of a big win against Northampton, and the news that Charlie Austin is coming in. Um, you confident? Uh, well, all of those things would point to a win, which is why it's definitely a loss or a draw. Yeah, it does. It, you know, last time we were here, we took the lead and they went down to 10 or maybe even nine men. I think it was nine by the end. I think it was nine men by the end. And then they scored a late equaliser. So that, is, that has scarred me, I think, here. So I'm, I'm just being back here a year on. I'm, I'm not confident. We should obviously win. We should obviously have enough to win the game. Um, Joe, score prediction? 1-1. Uh, 1-1. One, one. One, one. Oh, uh, that wouldn't be a good result, would it, at all? Um, I think, do you know what, I, I'm feeling kind of positive about this one. I think we'll win 2-0, um, which will be a big result. Take us into January. Hopefully, it goes down that way. Well, we'll find out. Up the swing. Let's go. Oh. Well, Joe, it's half time and we're losing one nil. That was that was shocking, wasn't it? As bad as we've seen it. Well, as soon as they scored out of absolutely nowhere, we've been absolutely dreadful. Until yeah. that, before then, it was looking like we could absolutely smack them around, and then you know they just completely, for, I guess, forgot how to use their limbs when the, when they conceded, and it's just been absolutely dreadful. Yeah, I, I would echo that at all. You'd think, like, after we conceded, what was a surprise goal? I would say to go one nil down that there'd be some kind of response from Swindon but the reverse is true it's got Colchester coming forward a lot more they've had their probably best period of the game since the goal and and we can't string passes together and we've have we had any real threats to their goal in this in this half like any real threat um there have been a few kind of crosses and things that look fairly dangerous Swindon have had a lot of the ball but they're moving it really slowly in front of the defenders and not really kind of asking any questions definitely asking no question the goalkeeper um, Joe, any changes you'd make at half time? Because there were some boos from the fans as the players went in, wasn't well, there? I can't see Rashan Hepburn Murphy, so I think that might be happening. I'd probably get Jeff got off. He's done absolutely nothing at all. Yeah, there's no real space for him to kind of create in behind, is there? So, yeah, I think you know it's a massive pitch, and Rashan running, you should, you should only be able to do damage with that. Basically, it, it's been really, really shocking this half, and they do need to make changes at half time. Um, and to make things worse, we've been asked, probably be beneficially for you at home watching this, not to film any more of the actual football. Um, so we'll try and do our best to react and <laughs> bring, bring, you, bring you reaction in that kind of way the second half. Hopefully lots of Swindon Town goals. Up the swing. Let's go. Joe, 10 minutes into the second half, we're still losing. Has anything changed, really? It's been pretty poor, hasn't it, at the start of the second half? Still, still not great. They're not great. Not great enough, not positive enough. It's we'll go true. on getting bad results. We will go on getting bad results for you at this passive and slow 
and they just don't look like they want it enough. Into Shane, the edge of the box! Oh! He's come back out in the video, the edge of the box. Cuts it in, headed away, Weed. Oh! And Johnny almost deflects it in. Brilliant shot from Shade. That was close, that was close to me, comes equaliser. So we've got no idea on how to break a team down a low block. He's literally got no better since gilling him away at the start of the season. Just get across in, no, back to Darcy. And then a high ball to a Colchester player around who there were no Swindon players anywhere near him. Boos here at full time as Colchester win 1-0. So there you have it. Unfortunately, we were defeated today 1-0 by Colchester United. Um, I'm here with Joe. How do you how do you put into words what we just saw? It's, it's not acceptable, is it? Well, it doesn't take very many. It's just bad. It was awful. It's basically any yeah. synonym of those words. Yeah. It was just... No, it was just all bad. I saw Brendan did all right, but I think you expected him to make the saves that he actually made. Lind Lindsay made the changes you, su you suggested at half time, but they didn't really have, have any impact. Hepburn Murphy, who's as Darcy, Khan, Wakeling didn't really have any impact when he was on the pitch. Yeah, we have the, it seems like a deeper squad, but they didn't, no one, no one came in and really changed anything up. You hope Hepburn Murphy's running might do something, but I can only really remember one time he ran in behind. It's just, it was just really, really bad. I haven't actually looked at Twitter yet, but I can guess what's going to be there when I do. Um, Joe, I'm going to ask you the Scott Lindsay question again. What, what are we doing here? Is, does Scott Lindsay have your backing still? I don't know. I, I, as I said after Walsall, I think you kind of have to look elsewhere or you know, see what you could get. If there is a good manager available, I think we should probably be thinking about it because that, that exact game has probably happened about five or six times this season possibly more it was very similar to crew yeah it was very similar Gillingham to away, Walsall, yeah. Walsall Gillingham there's a lot of games like Crawley. this there's a lot of games like this yeah it's it, when the same thing keeps happening and you're not you still aren't finding the answers for that thing especially coming off of Northampton we it's, were we I thought we were kind of it was a good performance ultimately defensively against Northampton but we were saying before we scored our first goals it was really poor football we we didn't look anywhere near Northampton in terms of quality um on the night it was a fairly fortunate win wasn't it so we're talking again about another disappointing performance in Swindon Town we're talking about Swindon Town not putting the um opposition under enough pressure not using our possession not taking enough shots even though it was slightly better than against Crawley when we didn't really have any shots at all you can kind of read into what we're saying here that like it's this it's not changing isn't it we we were promised attacking football at the start of the season we the expectations were high we've got the players to get out of this division we do and especially with Charlie Austin coming in and we we're dropping so many points and, and just playing poorly as well so it's it's a really tough one um, hopefully Charlie Austin when he comes in for the next game against Grimsby at home it can make a difference it's been a bit of a, a mess of a vlog to be fair like being told that we couldn't really film in the second half as well so I apologise it's probably been my worst vlog that I've ever done um, but thanks for watching anyway um, hopefully it gets better we've started the year on a on a really low note so it can only get better from here so thanks for watching and see you next time up the swim